Hey guys, Jofi here with the answer to a question. The question had to do with Satan's ability to quote scripture. Can the devil quote scripture? And although there is much doctrine on this, many times people say a certain answer. The real answer is no. Satan cannot quote scripture. Now, I know that there's a lot of thorns that I've just become in people's sides with that, but the true answer is no. And I'm going to give you biblical evidence to show that he can't do that. Okay? First, let's look at a quote. It says, for a quote, to quote is to repeat or copy out a group of words from a text or speech, typically with an indication that one is not the original author or speaker. Okay, so that's a quote, and it's used to form a purpose for something. We all know it if you go to school and you go and they ask you to quote something, and they say if you don't give credit, then it's not quoting, it's plagiarizing, right? So let's look at where the devil's mentioned here. Normally we take this from Genesis chapter 3 where he comes in and he talks to the woman, right? So let's read it. Genesis chapter 3, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Yea, has God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Okay, that's not a quote. That's a question. He's asking her a question. Did God say? He's not quoting. Okay? Not only is he not quoting, if you go back to Genesis chapter 2, where God made man and says here, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but... Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's the whole sentence. Satan asked a question and didn't even use the whole sentence that God said. So not only is he asking a question here and not quoting, he didn't even ask the whole thing. So we have to be careful. Satan's mentioned many other times throughout the Old Testament before we get to this doctrine. Where is he quoting? When he's in Job and he's talking to God, where is he quoting scripture? When he's mentioned in Daniel, where is he quoting scripture? In Revelation, where is he quoting scripture? In When Paul mentions him, that the God of this world, in reference to Satan, has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Does it say he's quoting scripture? Does it say he's blinding their minds with scripture? No. It says that he blinds his mind, their minds lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine unto them. He has to lie to them. That's his weapon. Satan walks around as a lion seeking whom he may devour. Not walks around as a lion quoting scripture. But then there's another one. It was mentioned in Matthew, the temptation of Jesus. That's where we really get this. Okay, so Jesus, he goes and he fasts for 40 days and 40 nights. He's tempted of the devil, right? So I'm going to read it here. It says, And having come, facing him, he who puts to the test by his solicitation to do evil, said to him, in view of the fact that you are son of God by virtue of your participation in the divine essence of deity, speak to the end that these stones become loaves of bread. There's no quoting of scripture there. He's trying to tempt him to do something evil. Jesus' response is, He said, it has been written and is at present on record. Not upon the basis of bread only shall the individual live, but upon the basis of every word proceeding out of God's mouth. Jesus 
quoted scripture. Not the devil. Okay? But there are three temptations. That was the first one. Let's see what Satan does here for the second one. Watch. This is the one that's used to say that Satan can quote scripture. Watch this. The devil takes him with himself into the city set apart for the worship and service of God. And he caused him to stand upon the wing of the temple and says to him, Since you are son of God by virtue of your participation in the divine essence of deity, hurl yourself down. For it has been written and at present is on record. Now Satan is trying to appeal to this, oh, uh, this guy is quoting scripture. Let me give him a little something. Watch this though. Hurl yourself down, for it has been written and at present is on record. To his angels he will give a charge concerning you, and upon their hands they will take you up, lest at any time you strike your foot against a stone. So he's trying to give some scripture here, right? Jesus said to him, on the other hand, it has been written and at present is on record, you shall not put the Lord your God to an all-out test. Now, why would Jesus say that? Well, it's because Satan wasn't really quoting. He was coming out of Psalms 91, but watch this. Psalm 91 it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. So, isn't that quoting? Here's a problem. Because Satan said, Hurl yourself down, for it has been written. What he's doing is he's taking a part of the scripture, not the scripture, he's taking a part of it and applying it to something that has nothing to do with what the scripture says. If you go directly before what Satan said, if you start at verse 9, it says, Because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. That has nothing to do with jumping off a building. That has to do with making the Lord your habitation. It has to do with dwelling in God. You see? Satan is trying to twist it here. He's taking half a scripture. That's not quoting. How many times have we seen that? People take one verse of something and try to apply it to something that has nothing to do with what God's talking about. When we say, O oh, wretched man that I am, and we say, all people are wretched, that's not what it said. When we say, for it is written, None is righteous. No, not one. Well, that goes against all the scriptures that say that if you're born again, you are the righteousness of God. Well, if you look at when it's written, no, none is righteous, not one, what's that applying to? That's not quoting. That's misquoting. That's plagiarizing. That's actually completely taking it out of context. And you could get in trouble for that because that's not what the author was saying. So, Satan's not quoting the scripture there. Go to the third temptation. Watch this. Again, the devil takes him with himself into a mountain exceedingly lofty and shows him all the kingdoms of the world system and their glory. And he said to him, These things to you, all of them, I will give, if, having fallen down upon your knees and having touched the ground with your forehead in an expression 
of profound reverence, you would prostrate yourself in worship before me. Where's the quote? Then Jesus says to him, Be gone and keep on going, Satan, for it has been written and at present is on record. Jesus is quoting scripture. The Lord your God you shall worship and to him only you shall render sacred service. Watch this. Then the devil leaves him. And behold, angels came and went to ministering to him. Where's the quoting? There's no quoting. Satan tried once to misquote, take half a scripture, and apply it to a situation that had nothing to do with it. He's not going to quote scripture, you guys. Because Jesus said that the words that he gives are spirit and life. Where do you see Satan going around saying, by his stripes you were healed? Satan can't do that. He literally cannot do that. Because a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. So Satan cannot pronounce sickness and then at the same time say you were healed. No, Satan will lie and say that you're not. Satan will lie and say that you are condemned when there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ for we walk by the spirit and not by the flesh. Satan will lie and say you are not the righteousness of God. Satan will lie and say that you are not the light of the world even though Jesus said that you are the light of the world. Satan will lie. That's his weapon. Not quoting scripture. To try and use half a scripture out of context? Yes, he can do that. But anybody can do that. A lot of people do that. People who are completely against Christianity use scriptures out of context. Half scriptures. But as we know, that is not quoting scripture. You will never see Satan go around and say, you are the righteousness of God. Be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. You can live life without sin. You can't hear him say, he can't do that, and he will not. So I hope that this helps. I hope that it encourages. If you read and get into the scriptures, and the scripture says that you are more than a conqueror, you will never hear Satan say that you are more than a conqueror. He cannot quote that. He will lie and say that you are not. Okay? So, Satan cannot quote scripture. We can do it right and live blessed and holy because you are. In Jesus' name, amen.